Eleanor has spent the week making a little show specifically for our Angie. Eleanor is currently upstairs getting ready. <laughs> also in the room is Sam from Reading University. Oh, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. I can't wave, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, they're, and they're filming the performance to go on our website. Uh, they may also film some of your reactions during the show. And we already, we already know if anyone prefers not to be caught on camera, and we'll make sure they don't get included if that's the case. You are one of 30 homes all across London that in a few minutes, actually they've started because we're a bit late, that in a few minutes will have their own show starting. This project is, is being produced by the theatre where we all work called the Theatre of Stratford East in East London, right near the Olympic Park. Oh. It's part of our theatre's commitment to bring theatre to the people and to develop new work that celebrates and explores the stories coming out of our wonderful city. At the end of the show, which were about 20 minutes, Angie has kindly provided refreshments for us all. <laughs> Oh, and, and with and Louise and Michael as well, thank you very much. Louise and Michael, close up on Louise and Michael, please. <laughs> 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 and with, with, with drinks supplied very kindly by okay. Kerry and, and various guests. <laughs> so, it's going to be a long day, isn't it? It's got five plates, actually. While we eat and drink, we'd like to get your feedback on what you saw, and the performer will be able to answer any questions. I'll also be on hand to answer any questions about this home theatre project and our theatre in the Stratford East. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've got boys and girls, but we haven't got any, so I'll just do that bit. So, ladies and gentlemen... Well, she's only one. Oh. <laughs> dogs. And dogs. So, ladies and gentlemen, and dogs, <laughs> can I introduce Eleanor um, and her show entitled, entitled Angie? Oh. The dog. <laughs> I've met some of you before, but I thought this would be a chance to get to know the real me. Where's Louise? <laughs> you do an impression of me, don't you? <laughs> I want to do it to my face. <laughs> You can tell by the way she did the voice, but as you can hear, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Me mum thinks I'm posh and all. Why else would she give me a name like Baby Bear Smithbone? <laughs> yeah, that pet shop owner saw her coming, freshly type like her, and he sped her some line about me coming from a farm. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm East End born and bred, mate. East End. Speaking of bread, 
I ain't even a Yorkshire Terrier fuel breed. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm a mutt. My dad was a stray. Which stray I couldn't tell ya because my biological mum was a right slag. <laughs> She's had every drug on the block. Best lay a Leighton stone, apparently. <laughs> and I got one more confession and all. I'm a boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I cut my willy up inside myself every day so I can be her little princess. <laughs> you lot are laughing, but the joke's on you. I'm living the life of Riley, mate. I'm the most spoiled dog on the planet. So anyway, I thought, do you know what? The old dear deserves a treat. I knew she was getting a gaggle of girls and gays together tonight. <laughs> And I thought, let's do a little cabaret to celebrate her menopause. <laughs> so this is Phoebe's menopausal cabaret. And the first act is from one of her favourite telly comedies, that phone shop. I don't know if any of you have seen it, it goes right over my ears, but... Okay, so we're introducing Rochelle off of phone shop. <laughs>
see this window here? <laughs> Every morning of a morning when she leaves, I sit up here and I look at her like this. <laughs> really lay it on. <laughs> works a treat every time she gets well guilty. She goes, oh, who's that fitty? I've got a hottie and a hoodie down here. Yeah. I'm going to cap that later. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks, right, it's because I'm going to miss her. But actually, I'm waiting till the coast is clear so I can have a wank. <laughs> I used to wait on Dan, but now he's gone uni. <laughs> I've got to get out of the way, you see, because then the dog walkers come. And they're all right, them girls, but they treat me a bit like one of them puffy little dogs. And I ain't. I'm hard. What I lack in size, I make up for an underbite. There ain't no dogs going to mess with me. So I've got a plan, yeah? I'm going to start limping. I make out that one of them's kicked me on the slide. She won't know which one it is, so she's second both. And then I'll just wait till she gets home and we'll walk together just ring an hand. Or she give me one of them big like dog flaps and I can be like an independent man. Go get me some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> him inside heard we were having a cabaret and of course he's got to get involved so I'm going to get out. <laughs> there can't be two little bitches in this room. <laughs> From Wagner to Britain, musical theatre with songs she can sing. These are a few of her favourite things. My turn. <laughs> and command black men and men dressed as trannies. <laughs> Eyelashes, wigs, and tits, but no fannies. <laughs> Fabulous women with big finger wings. Those are a few of my favourite things. <laughs> When BB bites, or when she stinks, or we're feeling sad. I simply remember our favourite things, and then we won't feel so bad. <laughs> Thank you for the accompaniment. <laughs> Gospel. 
social group is we're going to praise Angie and celebrate the possibilities <coughs> of her life. So, we're going to do this with a gospel song. I have written the chorus of the song. <laughs> I have written the tune of the song. But I have not yet written the verse. And this is because I'm going to make it up as I go along. <laughs> Based on things you are going to tell me right now. Oh, you understand? Mm -hmm. What I need from you is to tell me some things that Angie should do with this newfound freedom. So, I will get the ball rolling. So I can see some of you are shy. I think she should have a good job. <laughs> Operating one machine. Uh, Dan's very good at machines. I'll give it. I'll, I'll give it a go. I, I just want to keep your focus. Okay, I'm going to play you the tune, and I'm going to show you when the chorus comes in. It's very, very easy. You do not have to be black to sing it. You do not have to have rhythm to sing it. You do not have to have the soul of Angie. You just have to give it a good go. I want to see you having lots of fun. That is how this song will work. It will not work otherwise. Okay. This is the tune. Sweet liberation. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> you have a for me? Who else would like another rhythm stick? 
Would you like a little thing? <laughs> okay. So, you think you, you have it down, you give it a couple of rounds, and then I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. Love it. Ah, it's so exciting! So for Angie.